Aloha. My name is Cheryl Matsuoka, the Executive Director of the Hawaii Restaurant Association and the Hawaii Restaurant Association Educational Foundation. Mahalo for joining me here on Restaurants of Hawaii on the Think Tech platform. I'm excited. I have two guests today, and I'd like them to introduce themselves. Ladies first. Erin, please introduce yourself. Aloha, everyone. My name is Erin Yagi. I'm an instructor at Leeward Community College in the CTE Alternative Licensure Program. So basically, industry professionals who are interested in becoming teachers in the Hawaii public um, in the Hawaii public schools, um, we help them get licensure based on their experience in industry for the um, career in technical education. So thank you so much for having me, Cheryl. Thank you, Erin, for joining me today. And Ryan, introduce yourself. Hi everyone, my name is Ryan Sato. I am the specialty manager at ChefZone. Specialty is the newest division at ChefZone. Um, we source um, a lot of the specialty products, you know, the higher end fine products, both locally and um, internationally for ChefZone. Thank you, Ryan and Erin. Welcome to Think Tech. So today, viewers and subscribers, we'll be talking about ChefZone's generous charity day. And so I'm going to start off with Ryan. Ryan, what is Charity Day? So as a locally owned and operated company, we are committed to giving back. Um, one of the ways we're committed to giving back is by investing in our food service industry, by supporting both the HRA and its subdivision, the HRA EAB. So on this day, Chef Zone will donate 5% of all sales to benefit the HRA EF and its culinary program. Um, you know, if you're planning to shop at Chef Zone this month, um, save it for Charity Day. Every dollar spent during that day will increase money donated to the HREF, and we encourage everyone to stop by and support our culinary students and food service community. Nice, nice. Ryan, for the people, there's nobody probably who doesn't know about Chef Zone. You know that that's my hangout. Boiled <laughs> peanuts is my husband's favorite. When I go there, it's like four bags of boiled peanuts. So That's a good one. Yeah, everybody knows what Chef Zone is, but for the people who don't know about Chef Zone, can you share with us a little bit about what Chef Zone, who Chef Zone is? Yep. So Chef Zone is Waihata's cash and carry division. It was designed to provide the smaller partners with an easy one-stop solution for everything needed to run your business. Um, we are a, we do have a membership, but it's open to anyone to sign up. Exactly. And that's why, you know, I signed up and membership is free and you just have to register and they give you a little card that has your membership number on it and then you can shop. Everyone, I mean, I just love just walking around in there. I go into that really cold room. Ryan, what is it? It's like a, is it? Yes, exactly. And it's just got lots of local, lots of local produce and local foods in there. And that's why I like going into that chill zone. And um, like I said, you have a lot of unique things that I just can't find at a regular grocery store. So that's why I enjoy um, Chef Zone. So Thank Aaron, you. share with us a little bit about the Hawaii Restaurant Association Educational Foundation. Erin is a board director on that board. So can you share with us a little bit about the foundation? Sure. So the HRAEF, a lot of letters um, to represent the Hawaii Restaurant Association Education Foundation. Um, and what the foundation does is assist aspiring culinary and food service students in furthering their education and becoming um, becoming leaders in the industry. So they, the foundation helps students with scholarships and schools with grants and, uh, and supporting them through the pro-service pro program in the various high schools. Exactly, exactly. And so, you know, Ryan, I don't know if you know the impact that Oai Hata Chef Zone is doing on our culinary um, students, because we have, as Erin said, she's a director, board director on that foundation. We have 12 local high schools um, on Maui. We have two, Maui High School. And Erin, um, what is the other one that I never can pronounce? King Keikoliki? Yes, perfect. And then on the big island, Kohala High School. And wow. then, as, yes, and as well as on Oahu, all the different high schools that are part of it, all the way from Kaiser to Roosevelt to McKinley, um, Aiea, 
Moana Lua, you know, all the way over to um, Lelehua. So 12 high schools. And and Aaron will confirm in May of 2023, just this year, a thousand students graduated with the culinary experience coming out of our local high schools. And that's how we support the food service industry. As you know, everyone, you know, we're all struggling looking for employees. And so exactly. And so these these students coming out with culinary experience, as Erin knows, you know, they come out with food safety experience. They understand all the terms and all the different cooking and baking processes. And that's what it's all about is educating our next culinary um, superstars and leaders. That's so amazing. It is amazing. And that's only this year, a thousand. I mean, every year that we've been in, I should have been counting, right, Erin? How many students <laughs> yeah. each year, but only this year I had the bandwidth to do it. So we're so grateful, Ryan. We're so grateful because through the through having Charity Day and these types of events and raising funds is like Erin said, how we can provide students with scholarships. Last year, we were able to give three scholarships. Ryan, when you talk to these students, you know, they really want to further their, their culinary education. And sometimes they don't have the, the means to do it. So the scholarship really helps them. And yeah, uh, and we really want to support them. I mean, I know it's Russell, Russell's mission to, you know, help out the local community. So we're proud to support. Yes. And so I'm going to share a story and I'm hoping that Russell is going to be watching this recording. <laughs> and, you know, her, her, was so anyway one of the students um had shared with me that she really really wanted to have a bakery and I said that's wonderful she wants to major in culinary and major in pastry and she wants to have a bakery and so at the presentation for her scholarship Erin I don't know if you were there and you know I said oh that's so wonderful you let auntie know when your bakery is open and I'll come and support your bakery, okay? And she's like, yes. And she said, you know, Auntie, I really, really want to hire the homeless. I really want to give them a job. And Ryan, I looked at this girl and I was like, oh my God. You know, she solved our, our largest, our largest issue, our largest issue that we currently have, which is our homelessness. And she wants to teach them how to work at a bakery so that she can teach them a vocation. And then she can support them by giving them pay, right? Because they're working in her bakery, support herself. And then by doing that, teaching them this vocation, hoping that they can come off the streets and not that be is, That is so amazing. A 17-year-old baby is telling yeah. me. And I'm crying, Ryan. I'm like, by then I'm crying. Her father, who's at the presentation for the scholarship, is looking at me and like, why is this lady now crying? And I said, did you just hear what your daughter just said, she just solved our largest problem we have in our community. And she wants to help. And with her goal of having a bakery and only hiring the homeless, I was like, oh my goodness, you know, and we've had so many stories like that, right, Erin, of the yeah. students that really, really want to continue their culinary um, education and go on. Another gal, this was in 2020. God, this was in 2020 during the pandemic, Ryan. And we, I had to go down there and stand six feet apart, literally, you know, uh, take a picture of her with the big check and her scholarship. And um, she too wanted to go into pastry. Ryan, I guess that's a popular thing to do, right? They all want to be pastry chefs. I mean, I love pastry, so I don't see why not, right? The next time I saw her was in 2022. And she had graduated and she said, Auntie, I graduated from the KCC culinary program. And remember, I told you I wanted to be a pastry chef. And someday she also wants to own her own bakery. And she said, Auntie, I did it. I'm a pastry chef at my favorite, Ryan, my favorite location. I'm going to tell you, Lemon Crunch and Tiramisu. So you already know where she works. And she's like, I'm like, that's Auntie's favorite. So that's where I go see her. And sometimes I see her, sometimes I don't, but she's fulfilling her dream. And I just want you to know, you know, through the the foundation and through what Chef Zone is providing is how we provide more scholarships to these students. That is amazing. So 
amazing. And Erin will share with you a little bit about the teacher, well, it's called school grants. The teachers apply for a grant. All 12 high schools apply for these school grants, and they can get up to $1,000. And Erin, you want to share a little bit about how some of those um, school grants went to use? Um, so sure, you're going to have to help jog some of my memory because I remember yeah. some of them could buy equipment that otherwise they could not have that mimics things that you can find in industry so that the students are prepared, you know, to work on industry grade uh, equipment. Also, even consumable supplies sometimes, you know, just in order to have that culinary experience, they got to be able to cook something. So, you know, having that money um, that doesn't have you know, any restrictions on it, and that they can use it in the way to support their students. Sure, I don't know if you have any other stories, but I remember the industry um, equipment, um, consumables and food things for the students. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly, Ryan. The monies are going to the teachers and the teachers, all we ask them for at the end is give us pictures of what you purchase. So they have to write up a grant application. We see what they're going to put the monies towards. And all we ask at the end is that they take pictures of the students either, you know, using the equipment or using whatever they asked to um, fund. And as Erin said, you know, they, we, we think about classrooms. And basically what a classroom is, right, Erin, is four walls. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> you can even have an ice machine. And one teacher asked, remember, Erin, for the ice machine, because all she wanted That's to do right. was make ice and to create, like, I guess, certain dishes you need ice or keeping things chilled. Because many of these classrooms, you know, they don't have refrigeration. They don't have a stove or an yeah. oven let alone, right, Erin, a blender or a mixer or, right? And, oh and, my goodness. The, industry, and the industry grade, um, you know, the teachers really want to give the students that real world experience. So also getting the industry grade. Um, yeah, that really makes sense to grab that yeah. industry grade equipment. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes it's as simple. You got to know, Ryan, sometimes it's just simple as, can I just please have a set of knives? Oh my so that I can teach them knife skills because all you have is you're a teacher and you have a classroom, it's four walls and a, tables and chairs, and now go teach how to be, you know, in the culinary industry. How can you teach without those basics? Exactly my point, Ryan. And so we provide, right? That's why Chef Zone Charity Day is so, it's so impactful because many of these teachers, they're standing in a classroom and they're like, okay, I need measuring cups. <laughs> We're like, okay, you know, that's an important aspect of cooking. You know, so you go down the list, Ryan, you know, they just ask for the simplest things that we take for granted. And we think later, that would be really helpful to have measuring cups in a culinary yeah. class. Yeah, even, yeah. even um, covered shoes so that the student is safe in the classroom while doing these hands-on activities. Sometimes teachers even need to provide, you know, to help students with covered shoes or shoes that are safe instead of just um, slippers and socks or something like that, you know. So even the most basic things that, like, I never thought of. And so hearing the stories from the teachers, and it's so heartwarming to hear how the students are supported so that they can achieve their dreams. So thank you to partners like Chef Zone, because without you, you know, teachers couldn't do it. Yeah, hearing these stories, it makes me really want to do even more. Oh, Brian, and, and when you see these students, you know, I look at them and they're just, you know, so young. And I'm like, so, so sweetie, I said, I'm so happy that you're in the Pearl Star Culinary Program, which is the name of the two-year culinary program in the local high schools. And I said, so what is your interest? Like, do you aspire to be like, you know, to me, it's like a top chef or something, right? And, and, you know, Ryan, sometimes they're just innocent, right? They look at me and they say, Auntie, we heard in this class we can eat. Of course. And, you know, these are, you know, 16-year-olds, right? And, like, that's correct. You're going to get to eat. <laughs> and I hope while you're eating and you're learning, right, you know, cooking, baking, and things like that are just basics. You're going to have to cook and, and support yourself. You're going to have to know the basic kitchen 
Because if not, then how are you going to feed yourself? And they, they look at me and they're like, that's right, auntie. They make the simplest things right. And it's just so easy for us to think about it. But maybe no one ever taught them how to make a musubi or, you know, just how to do this, right? And so it's been really a really, really rewarding program. And we want to just thank Russell Hata, Y Hata, and the Chef Zone for this opportunity to have Chef Zone and um, do Charity Day. And and as, as Erin knows, because she's seen the students and, and hears the stories from the teachers, you know, some of these teachers, Ryan, you know, they, they want to teach the students so much, but with limited resources, it's so challenging. I can imagine. I mean, I can only imagine without even measuring cups to teach students. That's unbelievable. But nice. yeah, we're very excited um, to assist in any way possible. Yes, yes. And so, you know, we have the, the two ways that you're the, the raising of funds. So like you said, everybody come down to Chef Zone, right? This Saturday. And um, like you said, right, stock up your pantry because we'll be there on Saturday, the, um, August 26th from nine till three. Is it nine till three? Nine to four. Nine to four. We'll be there from nine to four and, you know, stock up your pantry for the next six months. You know, we're in hurricane. <laughs> Please stock up because your fishers, as I said, you know, Russell Hata, he's giving back to the education foundation so that we can provide more scholarship and school grants so that we can perpetuate the culinary industry in Hawaii. Um, let's see now, Ryan, what did I miss? I think you nailed it. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> and Aaron, I, I'm looking at it now. I also wanted Ryan to share with us because now you have a new specialty. I went in there as you exit the door. It's on the left. Correct. Yeah. So we used to have, um, as you exit the last, off to the side, there's a little room. It was the catering concepts room. And since December, we've uh, renovated, well, we haven't renovated yet, but we've, um, changed out the products and we've been continuously sourcing um, specialty products, whether it's balsamic vinegars, um, truffle products, um, pastas, a lot of imported products and just high-end products to really um, allow you to create that elevated dish and inspire you for your next meal. Love it. And, you know, I really want to also thank Russell. You know, I have been, Erin knows my world. I have been with the Maui wildfires since it happened, you know, the Hawaii Restaurant Association is really the connector as people are calling and saying, you know, I have eggs to donate, I have produce to donate, you know, as they don't want things to go bad, they want it to go to the to the people who need the relief. I heard that also, Waihata also did support the Maui re Relief and Recovery can you share with us some of the ways that you have been able to help those on Maui? Yep. As soon as we heard about the Maui wildfires, Russell reached out to the company's leaders and said, what are we going to do? And so Russell and the Waihata, Waihata and Chef Zone, they made a generous donation um, for both from both companies, along with um, food donations. We also coordinated uh, donations um, at Chef Zone and Waihata. And just at Chef Zone alone, they were able to coordinate over 24 pallets of goods in a matter of three days. Um, so we sent that off um, and we partnered with um, companies, uh, Aloha United Way, I believe. Nice, nice. Yeah. Thank you for working with the Maui United Way also, along yes. with the Mission Army, along with the Red Cross. We're working with um, the Hawaii Restaurant Association is also working with, we luckily have, you know, board directors who are, you know, who were impacted by the wildfires, who are there, and they're at, you know, as it, they're calling it ground zero, and they've been in the trenches every day. But thank you to Russell and for rallying, because as you said, you know, I can't imagine how it feels to lose everything. You yeah. know, I have friends calling me, Ryan, who's lost their restaurants, who's lost their homes, you know, their employees, they have 60 employees have they've been displaced because they lost their homes in the wildfires. So thank you for doing what you're doing. And we really appreciate all of the support that the community is also giving us. Yeah, it's been amazing to see the community come together and really support. Yes, yes. So 
Erin, before I wrap up the show, is there anything else that you would like to share about either the Educational Foundation or Charity Day? Well, just thank you to all of our partners, you know, who help us help students. Uh, you know, we can't express our gratitude enough. You know, um, and for those of you out there who are considering to, um, coming down and shopping on Saturday, please do because, you know, it, it, it may seem like a small thing, but it's the impact that you have is very, very big. So please come down, um, say hi to us um, as we're there. And like Cheryl said, stock up those pantries. Um, I, Brian, I'm just letting you know, I'm going to be looking for the cupcake sleeves, the cupcake liner sleeves. That's my favorite product, all the different ones, the fancy ones too. So. Yep, we got those, all the colors. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So um, so for those of you out there, you know, come stop by every little bit counts. And so please help us out and so that we can continue helping students across the state. And I'll be there on Saturday too, right? I think my shift is the afternoon. And, you know, my husband's favorite is the large jar of capers. And he just on and on and on. So I have my list too for this Saturday. Ryan, awesome. Ryan anything else in closing before we close the show? You know, I just want to reiterate, you know, everyone, please do come down this Saturday. Um, every dollar, you know, you spend um, helps out the HRA, yeah. Um, and like everyone said, just stock up, whether, you know, you buy all your groceries this one weekend, it's going to make a big difference for the HRA. Uh. Yes. And then, as as I mentioned, to go to the schools for the teacher grants, I mean, the school grants that the teachers can use in their classroom and for the scholarships. I want to thank the two of you for jumping on with me today. And I'm so sorry that I teared up. It's just been a crazy last two weeks. So I'm going to close the show. And again, the Hawaii Restaurant Association is the organization unifying, representing, and supporting Hawaii's restaurant and food service industry. And the HRA Educational Foundation is the nonprofit organization who supports the Hawaii High School Pro Start Culinary Program in the 12 different high schools that have the program right now. It's a two-year culinary program. And again, as I said, in 2023, we're so proud to graduate 1,000 high school students with culinary education. Thank you to our community for always standing with us to uplift Hawaii's food service industry. Our collective is only as strong as its individuals. So we deeply value your continued aloha and support. And again, eat well and be well. See you soon. Mm -hmm.